Hello, hello everyone. I'm Kenji from Blast Trade Exchange, and today we are hosting our new trading series. The series is about green trading boats, and in this series, we'll have five episodes to show you how to use green trading boat correctly. Also, Blast Trade Exchange is a crypto platform online with we build trading boats, and we are dedicated to build and develop a better platform and uh, useful automated tool, trading tools for crypto investor. So let's begin our this journey. This journey. So in the first part, if you want to use Blast Trade Exchange, it's about registrations. So you can use your personal email and your phone to register our trading account. So enter e your email password and also if you have any referral code. Referral code is about if you someone invited you to join Blast Trade Exchange, you can ask them to give you this code. This code is benefit you and both then self. Also, you will have your personal referral code after you done the registrations. And then enter your verification code from your email and your phone. Also you can see the user agreement down below you can click it and look carefully about our term of use and also our privacy policy. Privacy policy is like we are mainly focused and we are mainly care about user data. So in this part your privacy will be secure and we are protected carefully. After you register, let's log in to Bus Trade Exchange, shall we? Okay, so I will use my personal account. To log in. <clears throat> and then enter my password. After you enter your password, you will be checked to enter your verification code by your email or if you are activate your Google 2FA verification. So then I will try to enter my verification code. Okay, done. After you log in successfully, the next day is about doing KYC. A KYC process is in our me page. You can see KYC page in me page, and then if you didn't do the KYC process, your trading and withdrawal function will be limited to 1000 USD. So the KYC process is mainly important to you. In KYC process, you need to provide your personal info, like your where you're from and what's your name. So I'll just randomly select one. Okay, ABC address and uh, my name Kenji, and my and your birth. So the next part is most important. In this part is uh, about identity verification. You can choose ID or your passport to do this KYC process as you wish and then enter your ID number. Also the vital part is about the document upload. You can choose file from, from your file your ID ID document from your file or take picture directly like upload your ID front page, upload ID back page and the most confused part is about this. Take selfie with your ID or passport with other requirements, like our reference instruction in the video. You should take selfie with your ID and other requirements. And this all this all instruction will we are writing down below. You can see the instruction and notes in in the button. Okay, after you done the KYC process, the process will processing around three to five working days. And then it's about the deposit and withdrawal function. If you want to use green trading boat or other great trading boats, you need to deposit your funds. And also when you earn some profit, you will need to withdraw some. Okay, so the deposit and withdrawal function is in home page, also in asset page. So Click deposit function. You can see 
the coins you want to deposit. Like for example, we want to deposit USDT, and you can see the chain protocol, the chain protocol of ERC20 and TRC20. So you choose the one you wish, and be careful about the deposit address. The address uh, is a many important thing that you cannot forget, and you need to double check your address is entered correctly according to your chain protocol. Also, you can see our instruction, the note down below. And then we go to withdraw function. Withdraw function is the same as the deposit function. It's, all, it's also, also it's, it's, it's same that require you to, to type your address your, and choose your chain protocol and also the resource amount. Uh, as I mentioned again, the address of your chain protocol you need to check carefully, and I recommend you check double do double check after you send the withdrawal or deposit transactions. Okay, so today I introduce how to register bus share exchange, and also I show you how to do KYC process, and then the deposit and withdraw function. So that's all our first episode about begin. And then I will see you in our next episode about choice. See you guys.